Go ahead, Efren. Do the intro as best as you can. I don't feel good. Just go do it. Do a little, a little kickback crew. Just do that. Welcome back. Kickback Come on. crew. Welcome back, guys. Today, we have an amazing special guest. Today, we're here with... La Comadre Jesus Acevedo. Hi. How yeah. Are you? Let's clap it up. Let's clap it up. I'm happy for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, um, we always tell our guests, thank you for coming. You know, the, I know the drive was long, but for you, the drive was very close. You yeah. live around here. Thank you yeah. for inviting me, period. Yeah. George was the one that hit you up, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. How did you feel when you were like, oh, my God, I'm going on a podcast again? Or No, I was like, oh, this is cool. I love talking to people. Yeah. 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 I remember... I remember he- Watching the best season, you said that you like you get along with people and you're very talkative. Mm-hmm. Like people sometimes they'll come up to me and they're like, "Oh, I don't mean to bother." I was like, "Oh, talk to me." I was like, "I love it." Like sometimes I'm the solito y la gente me hace plática and I'm like, "Oh, like I feel like we're friends now." Period. <laughs> yeah, where did that Where did that come from? Where did that whole like talking with people come from? Did it come from like parents or something? I feel like mi papá es muy platicador, and uh-huh. so is my sister and me too. And my other siblings are more like my mom, like más calladitos. Mm. Our mom. How many are you guys in your family? Like brothers and sisters, how many? Oh, somos cinco, and I'm the youngest. Oh, oh. The youngest of five? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, the there's young, nine of us here. here, and we're the youngest. We're, the, we're like oh, the yeah. last two. And then he's the oldest in his family, yeah. huh? I, yeah. don't, I don't relate, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I don't relate. <laughs> yeah. You remind me a lot of, my, uh, of our mom, because you'd yeah. be having like, like friends everywhere. Like she'd be like on like in a grocery store and she'd just talk to somebody random. I'm like, like Do you even know her? And she's like, No. But she's sweet. <laughs> no, like sometimes when I'm like when I go like to Northgate or something and I see like a little like um Hispanic lady behind me, I'm like, Ay, esos están bien ricos. Like just random. <laughs> yeah, that's just exactly say, what she does, bro. That's, that's exactly what that's she what does. That's what I do. I'd be like, I'd be talking to everyone. Anyone. I'm like, hey, man, I like your shoes. Yeah. Well, yeah. You like, do. No, it's because you know everybody. Yeah. He like, knows everybody. He real. Is. Like in high school, um, they would sit me next to the quiet people. Because I would, one thing about me, I will make someone talk. Like, so like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, I'm like, oh, hey. And then they're so I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> like, like, yo soy, like, yo enfado so much to the point that like, I can get someone to talk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like I can't do that. If I, like, in high school, I was very like, um, so excuse me. I was very quiet if like nobody that I knew was in there. So like I would always be quiet. But like if I knew somebody, I was like the loudest motherfucker in the room. Yeah. yeah. That's like, what I, always I remember one time uh it was my sophomore year, I got it stuck in chemistry with the older kids. I was so intimidated, I didn't want to talk to anybody. They were fucking scary. You know what? They had, they had beards and shit and like they were smoking, they tatted up, and then I'm over here wearing like Mario shirt and shit. I was like a freshman <laughs> and shit. I was me like, now. what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh shit, this is fucking scary. What intimidated me was like when I had Spanish class, but I had Spanish one in my sophomore year. So I had freshmen with me in class. So I was like, fuck. <laughs> they're all little kids. I felt I thought I was like the grown grown as fuck, but then they're all cool, I guess. They're all chit chat too. With me also, what I would do to make people I would just say like out of pocket things. <laughs> Really? So, yeah, I'd be like, oh my god, I just blew up the bathroom. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so scared they're gonna find out it was me or something, just to get the quiet kids to, like feel comfortable. Yeah, you know, the one thing that would intimidate me though is um, if I was like seated with all guys. But even then, I would start making platica just because I'd be like, oh, are y'all gonna hate <laughs> me? Or are we gonna be friends? Like us? I feel yeah. like that's how it is. Like the first days of school. Yeah, you know when you don't have no one in your classroom that you know. Just gotta make friends. So like the first couple of days, you're like, oh. It's just quiet, you know, everyone's doing the thing. Yeah. And then you start growing a bond and everyone starts getting along. Or yeah. like in college when you, like, you know how usually you have your own, you can choose your own seats? Yeah. yeah. I'd walk in, I'd be like, who looks like they're talkative? <laughs> She's like, who I, I have to like chit chat. That's what, I feel like I was a very good student, pero hablo mucho. Mm. So I need to like be talking to someone around me, porque si no, I feel like solito me da mucha desesperación. Yeah. What year did you graduate? I graduated in 2018. 2018? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I was class of 2020. I didn't, I didn't get a graduation. Oh. Yeah, so I got I got yeah. the COVID here, bro. I got Why the COVID here. Oh. Always say that because it's sad. It really Nobody is sad. Cares no more. And do you, you go to college, right? You say you were going. What? Yeah, I'm on a gap year right now. Mm. What was your major? Oh. Communications. Oh, well, oh I was just saying, yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you're going to college too, huh? Yeah, I'm going to college. I'm going to. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about where I'm going. But Wait, I'm what's going your major? For film, TV, and media. 
Ooh, period. Don't be an actor and director. I'm going to make movies just like this one. Yep, you better get all of us roles in, in the movies, period. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. I'm going to hit up everybody and be like, you want to be in a row? No? All right, fuck you. <laughs> and then um, I wanted to talk to you about that because I remember, I don't know if it was you or somebody else, but I remember you posted, like, I think it was a reel or a story that your car, like, broke down on the freeway. Oh, my God, yes. I remember. Ooh, Ooh. todavía me da tanto coraje. I was, my- I was like, I can relate with you on that because uh-huh. my car broke breaks down. Like, when I, my old car, the one I was telling you about, that mm-hmm. one broke down on me, like, every every month. Like twice oh, yeah. a month. My car, like, and people are like, why don't you just get a new one? I I actually can't book it. By the time <laughs> I'm making a savings for it, boom. Transmission goes out. I crash. Um, oh, someone stole my Cadillac converter. Like, <laughs> every, todo me pasa con ese carro. It breaks down. Like, I always tell people once every three months. I know, like, after, like, things are going too well with my car, I'm like, oh, this is suspicious. Like, cualquier día me pasa. And that time, I remember I was so mad because... I posted about it and someone was like, oh my God, that was you that was stuck on the, and they said the exact thing. And I was like, you recognize me, drove past me, saw me wow. crying and you didn't stop to see if I was okay or nothing. Not even a, like, uh, oh, like, do you need anything? Do, like anything? No, nada. And I was like, I know. Como es la gente de cruel. Uh, yeah. what, what happened to it? It just broke down or what was my it? My transmission. <laughs> I those <laughs> Nissans. I Nissans. Like I actually um, hate them so much. Yeah, for my car, um, my tire. For me, it was either the tire kept coming off, or um, it overheated, or I just crashed. It was always something with my car. Remember that one time we were all together. We picked yeah. them up from his uh, from his prom. Was prom? No, no, no. Oh. Wait, when? When we went all the way to Fullerton to pick him up from oh, his yeah. prom. Yeah, oh, we picked them up from yeah. prom. It's an hour away for us and an hour back. Literally like five minutes to get to my house. My tire just blows up. And we were all like fucking swerving and shit. George was driving too. Yeah. Yeah. Every time we drive, it was he's crazy. Driving. It was crazy. I remember I remember your face. That's what scared me the most when your face, because George is always a calm dude. Mm-hmm. And when it popped, your face went, <laughs> he got really tight. Like, oh, and, like, and, we're dead. We're dying. And the funny like, thing is, like, minutes before, George is like, the car feels weird. Like, the steering wheel feels no, it's off. It's because, like, you know, you, you know, like, it. yeah. I'm driving, I'm like, I, I think something's wrong. And then Angel and the, they were like, oh, not again. I was like, no, no, you're chilling. Yeah, like, yeah, oh I feel God. like you can feel it with your car because sometimes, like I said, I can always feel when my car something's about to happen. So even when I'm driving, I'm like, oh, something's coming up. Yeah. That's and scary, huh? That's yeah. like, I'm like, oh, I'm not going up any mountains. I'm yeah. not taking any long drives. Like, I want it to break down, but if it's going to break down, it's going to be somewhere local. Yeah. And get it, like, towed quickly. For us, one time, we did a video shoot in Long Beach, and it broke down in Long Beach. It took us, like, forever like three hours to get home because every time we drove like 20 minutes it'll break down and then we stopped waited for like another 20 minutes and then get back on the freeway it was, was terrible that was a bad day i fucking hate that day. yeah and we, and and we it, took a, a bad express lane too remember yeah and it was fucking raining it was cold it was a bad uh, day Ooh, people who don't have car trouble oh you guys don't know how privileged you are like you yeah. don't know the fear of like oh my, oh my god it's coming and like, then when you find out what the piece that's broken and how much it costs to get it fixed you're like fuck mm-hmm. this sucks everything costs money now i know yeah. dude that's why i got a new car because i don't want to have those follows <laughs> i had those problems when i first had my my first car and i was like all right i'm gonna save up get some money buy a new car that'll be straight and i thankfully have you, have you ever had like a new new car or you just been stuck no. with that one since when forever? i graduated high school my parents were like oh vamos a dar un carro para que um, puedas ir a la escuela but then they got it and then my sisters were like por qué se lo van a dar a chuche mejor le damos el carro viejito y ese no lo dan a nosotros ah uh, wow. how did you feel about that i didn't really care because i was like eh, a car's a car and either yeah. way, the speakers on the old car were better. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, like, you know, I'm bumping. The yeah, in my car, we had the JBL speakers. That was the only good thing. That's it. <laughs> he had a, be- he had a, a fucking uh, Beats pill. <laughs> <on the laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And then what's it called? I, I never had a, a brand new car either. I always had like hand-me-downs. Mm-hmm. But there was, when, when they gave it to me, they were in perfect condition. I was the one that fucked it up. <laughs> no, yeah, I yeah. fucked it up. Tengo una amiga que um, le dieron, um, it's not new, pero su carro está en muy buena condition. And it's like, um, algo pasó. And she was like, this car is so old. And I was like, don't even start. <laughs> I was like, keep driving, girl. She you're like, fucking lucky. Like and I was like, I was like, give it to me. Then. Yeah. <laughs> give it to me. You're fucking ungrateful. Yeah. Yeah. You ever been in like in a terrible car accident? Like this shit was bad or no? No. Oh, God, hey, God bless. What's your, what's God your bless. So, what's your theory about why your car keeps breaking down? Oh, I, I, I had this theory, right? I feel like it wasn't a theory. I feel like it was true. So... It was my first car ever. I got it when I was in high school. And, you know, me, I wanted to experiment. So I did a lot of hookups in my car. And every time I hooked up with somebody in my car, the next day something terrible would happen. Mm-hmm. And, I, and then I heard, like, on IE and Friends, they were like, oh, yeah, when you do, like, car sex, 
it's you're bound to something bad happen to you in the car. And it happens to me every time. And they linked up together. It was crazy. Yeah. yeah. But was it worth it? No. <laughs> honestly, no. Honestly. Why do you kept on doing it in the car? I, I honestly <laughs> thought I was like, you know what? It's just all in my head, you know? It's just a coincidence. But after the fourth time, I was like, okay, I need to stop doing this shit. <laughs> you, one more time just in case. Yeah, just I was like, I, I need to stop sure. doing this shit. And like, yeah. After the last time we told Angel, I was like, Angel, what do you do in your car? Like nothing, <laughs> nothing. Like, I know you just fucked right I'm now, like, bro. Cause well, the- I don't know if that theory is true because I haven't done anything in my car. It that shit like, goes down. It just, it just breaking out work. itself. Like yeah. maybe it's because I'm not doing anything in my car. Cause <laughs> tanto, I don't know. Pero. yeah. So the new car that I got, because the other one, my we got a drunk driver hit us and he like totaled that shit. So the new one, I told myself I'm never doing shit in that car. Like that car. No, está descompuesto. Uh uh-uh, uh, nothing. I'm pretty good. Now. Doing good. good. Doing it's doing good. good. I'm, I'm on a I'm on a perfect streak right. <laughs> now like and i've been driving careful too so i haven't crashed at Proud all you, Joe. Good yeah. job. and then tell them what happened on on thursday with the truck oh i don't want to talk about that no nah. nah, it's it. very relatable nah oh it's just i feel like you're responsible for doing it so i didn't i didn't i wasn't able to pay the tags for my truck mm-hmm. for a whole year nobody make fun of me everybody that's crazy huh Shut the That's fuck crazy. up. Because you know, like when you don't pay for them, it like it adds up, like it builds up. So I, I was supposed we're supposed to have keep the truck inside the um inside of our parking lot in our in our, in our driveway. In our driveway. <laughs> and I guess like I I took it out to go to school because I had to go to school and I parked it on the sidewalk and I guess it was that, that day they were towing a lot of fucking people. Like a lot of people were uh, the city or I think what what are they? The I think they were cops. Yeah, they were uh, cops. They, they were do like they they're like they do they do Black like Ranger? Park. Are they, that what they are? Probably. No, it's not a park ranger. Park it, rangers are in like forest. Not I know. Like, yeah, we're like no, in the middle I of the park I, ranger. The reason why I said this because when I drove here, there was a park ranger. He's must, he must by. be lost or something. Bro, nah, there's no woods over here, bro. There ain't no jungle right. over here. Continue. Um, but yeah, um, they towed my truck, and it was a fucking like it was a bitch to get it back. Well, I got my truck back, but it was a bitch to get it back. Yeah, because we found out that you had to go to the police department. Well, he had to pay the tags. He paid for the tags, and then go to the police department. Pay the pe- pay them, and then go to the tow company, and then pay them a two. So we paid like three fucking times. You paid three people. Yeah, it was a lot of money. We we're like, what the fuck? And they were very rude about it. And we weren't the only ones. And like in our block, there were like towing like six different people. I wanted to kill myself. And then there was a lady. It was like an old lady there. I feel bad for her. She was like, nunca más a mirarme aquí. No voy a votar. Odio todos aquí. Like she was going off on yeah. them, bro. Yeah. Oh, and that was my final straw. And like, <laughs> me when I get mad, I'm like, I hate everyone. Yeah, and then like the guy behind the window was like a kid, so he was just like taking it in. Like he was just taking it, you know. It was just so funny. And in my head, I was like, Señora, they don't care if you don't come back or not. Like they, they, got other they don't problems. care if your vote. <laughs> they don't like, care your if vote you won't vote. Matter, like, like yeah, it was just it was sad. It was really sad to see that. Well. My parents usually tell me when to pay my tax because I don't pay attention. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Como que I, 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 like, I feel like I live in my own world sometimes where I, me pasa tantas cosas that like little things, not little things, but like tags or like, oh, like make sure you put your insurance paper in the car. Like, se me pasan. So my family's always like reminding me, like, acuérdate porque se te olvida. Yeah. Like, it's true. And I'm glad they do porque se <laughs> Yeah. Do you know how the, do you know how the registration paper looked like? I don't know. I don't even know how it looks uh, like. No? no, my mom be like, "Show me the registration." I'm she like, gives, Fuck, she gives "I don't me, like, even know." Five papers. I'm like, she's like, "Uno de esos es es the registration." I'm like what? very like, different. Oh, like, que vas a decir la police te hace pull around me be like I'm like officer I'm gonna use it I'm like I'm gay <laughs> I'm a bottom I don't know what you're talking about like can you please like try to have some compassion <laughs> can you get it for me please yeah I, I, I got pulled over one time and I gave him a whole envelope I'm like it's somewhere in there he just looked for it I made him look for it and he pulled it out he's like it's this one and I was like okay cool and I still forget yeah. and then I got pulled over and I got a ticket and I went to the city hall they're like we need your registration so we can like you know, take the ticket off. I was okay, and I gave it to them, and they're like, "Son, this is an insurance." Oh <laughs> fuck! And I was like, "I don't know where the registration is at." And they were like, "We'll come back with that." I haven't gone back. You know, people, no? I feel like people are like, "Oh, like these are the people that are driving on the roads." I drive pretty Perfect. good. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just not smart when it comes to like papers. papers <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, why the fuck were you even pulling me over, anyways? Do you do you know your like social by heart? No, I do. Now you do. Yeah, because I went to the bank and porque. My card expired. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pay. It, I don't pay attention to cosas like that. No? So I went to Salvation. No, I went to like Savers to go um, thrift. Because I like to thrift. Yeah, yeah. And I went to go pay and it was like card decline. I was like, 
um, I have money in my account. What do you mean? <laughs> so then I did it again. It was like card expired. And I was like, <gasps> and then I looked and I was like, it expired in, um, in February and it was March 1st. And I was oh, like, shit. and I was like, oh my God, let me try my Apple pay. Didn't work my credit card. I hadn't paid it off yet. Whoa. So it was max. So I was like, I was so embarrassed. I had to be, I told her, I was like, I have to leave these here. And she was like, okay. So then I went to the bank, then I went to the bank and they're like, do you know your social? And I was like, um, I was like, let me look through my photos. <laughs> um, smart thing. I know that you're not supposed to have it. I have it. I'm Whoa. not changing it. I'm not changing it. No, but like, I write down the number in my notes and I have McDonald's ice cream code so then no one suspects anything if they like want my phone. Uh, uh, well, if someone wants McDonald's, they know where to go. Yeah. <laughs> so so yeah. what I do, when I was in high school, I didn't know it either and I still don't know it by heart. No? So I took a picture of it and it's like the first picture in my camera roll. So and it's still asked, there? Yeah, and they asked me like, Expose themselves. Yeah. And when they asked me like, we need your social, I just go to the first picture on my camera roll. After they asked me that, I was like, I saw you the puro miedo that because I, I was like, what if they think I'm like doing something illegal and it's actually me? So I was like, I'm gonna remember it. The tanto miedo I, I remembered. I guess too many. It is. There's too many numbers in my head already. I can't remember that. I've I've memorized, memorized it every time. I the got, first I time got. I seen it, I was like, I gotta remember this because everywhere I go when I was applying for something, they were like, what's your social? And I didn't want to go through my phone, check through it. <laughs> you make you look like a little kid. Huh? Yeah. You don't like feeling. You don't like feeling like a little. I don't kid. like feeling like. Cause like what well, you said, like you, you guys will wait like, till like, someone like, tells you. Yeah. <laughs> like once I get the thing, I don't want to like pasarme. So I just be like, okay, I'm gonna pay it. Boom, it's done. Yeah. I don't gotta worry about it. Like, I don't like, like worrying about things. Like for me, like I like to feel like an adult. I like to do things on my own. Like my dad's always like, let me help you. I'm like, dad, let me do it. I could probably do it on my own. I could figure it out. But the one thing I'm like, I really do need help on is the hospital stuff. <laughs> so every time I go to the hospital, like mom, can you come with me? Cause I don't know shit. Like I don't know what's wrong with me. So my mom always comes. I remember one time. Uh, it was during COVID. You can, only one person can go in. My mom came with me. They're like, your mom can come in. I was like, fuck. I don't know what to do. How to call her and like tell her how to <laughs> fill out paperwork and shit. I was like, shit. I'll be fortunate. I'd be like, no, I need my mom there. And he'd be like, but but they can't. I'm like, I don't care. I don't need my mom like, there. They might be like, sir, but you're 21. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I need my mom there. Sir, you're 30. You're like, I need my mom. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. Funny. I feel like when I go to the doctor too, I've always feel dumb when I'm by myself. I'm like, I'm like, even though I'm grown as fuck, I'm like, I'm little. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh, I'm going to need you to take off your pants. I'll be like, uh. <laughs> no, I used, I used um, to FaceTime no, Leslie. Oh, yeah. Like, okay. What I fill out? She would like tell me. I'll be like, okay. <laughs> like yeah. writing it down. Oh, my God. I feel dumb. And even when it comes to like payment shit too, like, I'd be scared to tell them, like, guys, you owe me money. And they're like, we'll get you later. I'm like, okay. And I know I need it. You know what I You know what I miss so much? I miss Mexico, bro. I miss I miss going to Mexico. Uh, I love it. Yeah? How, how many times have you been to Mexico? I go every year. Really? I what? leave usually. Um, well, before, I would only go, like, during the three weeks that they would give us for um, um, Christmas break. Pero estos últimos años, I stayed there like a month or a little bit more. Whoa. The first time I um, went to college, I think I stayed like a month. Wow. And then last year, not this year, me quedé dos meses. This year, I left. I got there the 1st of December, and I didn't leave till like January like 12th. And I know people are like, oh, like I can't last over there. I can. When I mean seriously, if I won the lottery, <laughs> I would not live here. I would be in my yeah. like I Dude, like, you're doubling your money over there. Yeah, and also... Oh, yeah. I don't know. I feel like it also depends who you have over there because I love my dad's side of the family, but I love my mom's a lot more. And my mom's is more over there, you know? What what, what part of Mexico are, are they Michoacan. from? Michoacan. Both of them? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, they're from neighboring towns. Pero um, I feel like my cousins over there, I'm really close with them. My grandma's over there, mis tias. Like, me, like one of my closest cousins is over there. And I feel like if I was over there, I'd, I would be, I would so be happier, you know? Except... Obviously, it's la vida es difícil allá. I'm not oblivious of that. That's why I would yeah. only do it if I had the like financial backing to do it. But like people are like, oh, after like two weeks, like no aguanto. I'm like, I was there like a month and a half, and then the the year before that was there two months. I cried. I bawl when I leave. Like I cry, and as soon as I go to my grandma's house, crying. As soon as I wake up, crying. As soon as I get to like my tia's house where my cousin lives, like this year, I didn't even make it through the front doors. I was already crying. And as soon as, as soon as she saw me, she was like, no vayas allá. And I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I was already bawling like I love it so much y los días me pasan así this year I took my friend Joanna with me and she at first it took her a week to adjust but after that the two weeks that she was there she was like pasaron bien pronto she was like I love your family that are so nice and I'm like yeah I'm like I feel like my dad's side is more toxic and my mom's side everyone loves each other everyone's Hi. friendly like I love it you know and I love being in my house in Mexico too like like people are like no te aburres I'm like 
I don't get bored. Like I like just laying around, laying in the hammock, like me paro, I walk around, I play with the animals, me voy a la tienda, agarrar unas papitas, I come back home. Like You feel stress free. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what I loved about when I went to Mexico. We we went uh, last year in August, right? It was yeah, last it was year? in August. It was our first time I think going it was two to years ago. Really? Two years ago? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. What's two years ago? <laughs> Jesus. It's like once you go, like te quedas con las ganas because one of my primos hadn't been in like a while since he was like I think like eleven and he went and he came this year too he was like i'm so glad that i did like come back he was like yeah. i forgot and i was like imagine how much fun we all would have had if you would have come back every year like es la vida tan diferente pero stress free like it's stress free yeah. i love my friends feels but wh- great when i'm over there i ghost yeah, I, yeah. I'm, you forget about everybody else yeah and i even made a video i was like oh they're like don't you want to come back to like the united states and i was like no i was like over here i like eat all day i relax <laughs> and they're like oh what about your friends i'm like fuck those ladies like yeah when we went i feel like i would not lasted as long as we did because we how many we stayed there for two weeks or we you stayed a week we stayed a week you stayed for two I weeks stayed for two weeks but we had no electricity and no like cold like no warm water nothing it was just it felt like a really like um, like a lifestyle that they live out there. Mm-hmm. Felt like we had to get like the water from like the well and everything. Like mm-hmm. we had to pull it out. It was yeah. cool. It was a cool thing. It's different when like when I go because usually when I go like we have like internet, we have water. That's like, why the pump working, and everything. Electricity was off. That's when you said like crazy. you were ghosting. Like I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Like we couldn't. Like we had no internet. Nothing. Antes, pues, en, en donde nosotros somos, antes también era así como. And before, like, my parents, like, invested in putting money into our house. Tamira, eso de que, like, we had, like, the Shrek bathrooms that are outside. There's just a hole. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that we had that. And then también era de que, oh, calentar agua and stuff like that. Pero now it's like, oh, we have, like, running water. And we have, like, a gas-powered um, shower and also solar. So if it's, like, not sunny, like, oh, wow. the gas. And then we have internet. The internet still goes out often, pero, like, muy a gusto also because of the accommodations. And yeah. you really don't need an internet over there. Mm-hmm. Honestly, you can just go like, you can do whatever There's you so want. There's so much to do need. out yeah. there. No, yeah. I know one thing that I found really funny, it was that where we where we, where we live, like where our grandparents live, like everybody knows each other. Like it's all family there. Everybody. So family. when we were walking down the street, my grandma be like, hola. And then the lady be like, hola. And we just keep walking. No. And, my, and my grandma's like, es tu tía. I'm like, <laughs> what? Like you, you didn't introduce me. Like, I was like, oh, yeah. what? I feel like everyone has like some st- type of like family like connection you know like it's like oh ella es hija de la hermana de tu abuelita or something like that or yeah like, oh ella es padrino de él es padrino de esta persona stuff like that también everyone obviously son chismositos at, at least like where i'm from pero todos se saludan like it's like cuando vas caminando if someone's sitting outside oh buenas tardes buenos días yeah esto que el otro you know like i feel like it's very nice i like it i i love it yeah we have a grandma who lives like at the top of the freaking mountain and it's like a struggle to like go all the way up to the top walk it's a tough walk yeah remember that yeah it's it's crazy but the view out there is beautiful it's Mm -hmm. amazing we 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 are um, we went to our dad's side of the family so it was oaxaca we went to oaxaca Mm -hmm. but i want to visit nayari that's where i I always wanted to go because my mom's from nayari and but she doesn't have her her papers, so I I don't I promised her I was like I don't want to go without you like mm-hmm. I don't want to go to Nayarit without you because I went I went to Oaxaca with my dad, and that was a special time and like I want to do that with my mom. That's sweet. So I don't ever want to step in Nayarit without her, and I I just we just need to you know hustle and get her papers so she can go. She just get it. Yeah, she'll get it son. What's what, a, what, what's a place you recommend when you go out there for people who want to go out? Yeah. There? Oh, okay. Well, I feel like it's crazy out there. Is it scary? In Michoacan? Yeah. I feel like, pues, obviously, like, yo, I, I don't travel, like, like, we go to, like, little lagos and stuff, pero I usually just stay in my like, little pueblito, and usually, todos se conocen, they know if you're in something bad, and pe- bad people, they know if you're in something bad, too. So, mm-hmm. if, like, you don't do anything, so it's I, always, like, yeah. te dejan en paz, y, like, dejas otra gente en paz, and there's always gonna be bluffs, like, like, there's, like, um, cyber secuestros, I, I don't know if that's what they're called, but it's, like, they'll call you, like, that happened to one of my um, cousin's family members, they call them, they're like, oh, we see you outside of your house right now. Um, you're going to go um, walk down to the plaza, and if not, we're going to barge into your house and kill your um, wife and kids. Whoa, but it's a bluff. A- like, they're not going to do it. But the thing is, le dio miedo, obviously. So he did it, and he ended up kidnapping himself. Like, they were like, you're going to go to a hotel, you're going to stay there, you're going to take the chip out of your phone, and if you don't do that, we're following you behind you. They were following him, but they, they weren't going to do that. You know, pero uno nunca sabe, lo hizo, and then afterwards... <laughs> It was a whole thing, like, depositaron, like, I feel, I think it was, like, three, 30K pesos, like, in their account before, like, a lawyer, they talked to someone, because they were like, oh, if you bring in the police, like, we're going to make sure that your family's dead. But then they talked to the police, and then a lawyer was like, 
they're bluffing. Like, it's not true. Because my sister has gone those things to where it's like, oh, um, we know you're home. Um, you need to do this or we're going to come in and shoot you. And she'll be like, oh, okay, y les cuelga. Because it's a bluff. Damn, what the heck? I wouldn't even, but that's scary, though. I would be scared to. I'm like, <laughs> okay. anything you want, I'll do it, like, right now. <laughs> that's scary. Yeah, I feel like they also try to pick and choose. Quien da, I feel like that's the most. And also, I've always said this, too. En donde yo, cuando yo voy, es el tiempo de las fiestas. Mm. And si van a vender cosas, las venden en las fiestas. So during that time, it's not dangerous to walk alone at night. or not. Obviously, there's always going to be some danger walking yeah. alone. Pero nunca nada... Odds of something happening are very low because whoever's like doing bad things, they know if they kill someone or they like arman un balaseo at a baile, no one's going to go out. So then they're not going to be able to sell. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like, why would you scare off your clients? Yeah. So during that time, me and my cousins walk home drunk at like one in the morning to like our, or my tia or an uncle go pick us up. But it's like never really dangerous, dangerous during that time. After like party stop, like around like January, like 6th, we are a little bit more precautious, but, mm. yeah. but I'm, I've never been, like, scared. <laughs> when, when we went to Oaxaca, it was, a, we it was a little to. Pueblo. It was, we went during, like, a fe like, festival time. But, like, I felt like our Pueblo was just, like, very, like, you couldn't walk at night. We walked at night. You couldn't, you said? We could. Oh, yeah, we could. We could walk at night because it's, like, everyone knows each other. Like, like we said, everyone was family. Yeah. So whoever we, Whoever you saw, like... If you saw them doing something bad, they knew who you were. And like, and like our grandpa was pretty famous around there, so they kind of knew who we were. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was the first uh, guy to go to, um, like, America, to go to the United States. So they, from Oaxaca. From Oaxaca. That from, that, from that generation. Yeah, from, that, from his generation, he was, like, the first one to, like, start his business and to have a car and, like, to have TV and, like, all that stuff. No, yeah, but I feel like it definitely, like, also has to do with, like, la gente conoce. Like, you know, and I feel like everyone backs, them, backs everyone up usually, like, like obviously not saying names not gonna try to get anyone in trouble yeah. but like someone um, that we know from over there he knows when like bad people are gonna show up and I'm, I usually hang out with my girl cousins so if we're um, like out and about he'll text them he's like hey you guys shouldn't be out right now like some people are gonna come and mm. then we'll just go home okay you know? oh yeah it's like that's good like, yeah. todos like se tratan de cuidar you know yeah. like con que no le hagas mala cara a nadie like yo saludo a todos like I don't have beef with anyone I'm like hola como estas like even if I don't really know them yo les saco también les saco plática yeah you know? okay. and I felt like special porque not this year but the year before there was a muchacho que está como metido en cosas que no and he saw me and I don't know he, I didn't think he knew who I was I had seen him before he was like, he was like comadre how are you and I was like I'm good how are you <laughs> and then he was like hey he was like um, he was like not, tú relajado nada te va a pasar aquí and I was like I Okay. Thank you. Like, yeah. Okay. You're like, sí. I, 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 look, I, I looked at my cousin and I was like, nice. Like, yo me siento como importante. Como que, <laughs> <laughs> Pero no, yeah, I definitely think it's like, si no haces nada, no te hace nada. Yeah. So are you well known over there? Um, I feel like my, like, I, me and my cousin are always together and I feel like she's well known. Okay. So I feel like I'm well known for being with her. You know, it's no. like, oh, si ahí está Diana, también está ahí Chuche. Does she do like, like stuff or like, uh, like No, she's just videos? like platicadora. Oh, <laughs> so that's, that's, that's the type of yeah. I know she yeah. is. Okay. There, I remember this story that my dad told me. I told him like, because we got there we saw the police around there. And we're like, dad, is anything like crazy happen here? Like anything fucking like murderous, you know, anything violent? He was like, yeah, I guess over there to take basketball very, very serious. Oh, yeah. And there was a ref who called like a really bad game. And the players got really upset with him and they ended up like killing him at his house for calling a bad basketball game. Mm -hmm. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, for a basketball game? I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. they tortured him and they killed him really bad. I was like, no, what the heck? Was, that's another thing. Like, me, like, like I said, mi familia, like, todos somos buenos, you know? Um, but they always tell us, no se van a meter en malas cosas porque la familia también es los que sufren. Because it's like usually like, people can be vengeful. Like I said, it's safe to a point. Yeah. I feel like I keep on going back where I'm like, oh, some, like it's safe. But yeah. then if you do certain okay. things, it's not as safe. Are we gonna cut? Or? No, no, no. no, no, no. Oh, okay. Like, <laughs> you're, I was like, what's happening? <laughs> no, no. It's because we're we're letting it roll, and then I'm gonna cut it. Go, mm -hmm. but go ahead, continue. Oh, so um, if you do something bad, they'll usually take it out with your family too. Mm. If that makes sense, you know. Like to try to get to you. Yeah, to like show you how bad it is. Like this one guy, lo desaparecieron, and they ended up kicking his uh, mom out of the town. Um, they were like, if you're still here, like I think like in two days, like. You're That's not gonna like, up. like you're not gonna so like, up. like it. And then, um, I guess that they found the lady crying in the church, saying like, I don't know, like I'm just gonna go with some family member somewhere, somewhere else. But it's like that thing where it's like you, you can't go to the police, but there's no real protection that they're gonna be able to give you. Yeah. So yeah, it's like that. Yeah. So that's why mi tía siempre like le dice a mi primito, who's like a younger guy, 
Um, she's like, cuidado con lo que hagas. I feel like they're not worried about me and my cousins anymore porque ya estamos más grandes. Like, we know what we're doing. But, with, you know, with little kids, they get, like, easier influenced. Yeah, yeah. like, you're more aware of the, mm-hmm. of the and things. And I'm not saying he's easy, easily influenced. I think they underestimate him. Pero siempre le dicen, like, cuidadito porque si tú haces algo, no nomás van a venir con, contigo, van a venir con nosotros. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. It's bro. crazy how they always play with family over there. Yeah. It's like one thing, like, if you don't do this, you're like, we're going to do something to your family. See, but back, back to the thing, like, how do you know if it's a bluff or not? Oh, um, <laughs> you get it? Like, well, with, oh. that, with that one, her son had already been missing. Oh, okay. So it's like, um, like he's like, like <laughs> missing for yeah. like a while. Like I don't think that this is like a little game. Yeah, that so, wouldn't be a bluff. Yeah, something that we always like to do is to, like tell scary stories. Do you have any scary stories from Mexico? Like anything crazy or like uh-huh. or seen out there? How about instead of scary, like more like paranormal? I think. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. paranormal. Anything? Pues en la casa de mi tía dicen que espantan. A mí, I've seen things, pero I've never been scared. Mm. You know, Spantan? what have you seen? Espantan, like, um, like scared. Okay, okay. Like they, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like no sabo kid right here. No sabo kid. The slang is it's a little too much. For me. I'm dying. <laughs> um, I'm no sabo sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I like them in English and Spanish. Pero, um, like, siempre dicen, oh, que, like, si te quedas en los cuartos de mi tía, que, like, because she has, like, thin, <coughs> thin walls? Like, curtains. Oh, okay. And it's like her house is, like, sienda style. Like, it's like every room is individual. And to, like, when you leave it, you're in the patio. Okay. Do you kind of get what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Pues, um, they say que, like, they'll hear, like, footsteps and see, like, old people walking by, like, a viejita. And a ellos les han asustado, les han, like, hecho cosas, pero, like, I, yo soy bien miedoso, and I hate being in the dark, but I'll be alone in her house in the dark, pero no me da miedo nunca. I've seen things, like, I've, like, she has, like, big windows. I've walked by, and I've seen, like, people standing there, like, blocking it, like, physically the light. And then I oh, go shit. back, and I look, and no one's there. But then I'm, like, oh, shit. Like, oh, like. I don't feel scared. Like, maybe it's a family member. Like, maybe they just fuck with me or something. Like, I don't know. And even my um, friend Joanna was there. Y nunca le like, pasó nada. Pero my tío was there recently, too. Y el que, oh, he was like, oh, like, me asustaron. Like, oí que alguien estaba hablando afuera. Que, like, you know how they say spirits are like, like, you can't really understand yeah. what they say. They say that they hear that. But I've never, I've never um, heard that. But I've seen, like, little shadows and stuff. Pero nunca de que yo diga, I am scared. <laughs> so you, you don't get scared of that stuff? Mm-mm. Oh, but another thing. Oh, I do get scared of that stuff. Okay, I, was like, not, you... not, I feel like I'm so comfortable at my house and my tia's house that I'm not really like feeding into it, you know, because I yeah. feel like that's another thing. Like if you give that energy that like, tengo mucho, mucho miedo, that's what they feel. They're going to thrive you know? off of it. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Thrive off of it. Like in Onde Vivo, like there's, there's a street and it leads all the way out to like um, the Cerro, verdad? And my sister in law lives at her house is the very end of the houses, you know, before it's a Cerro. And my brother stays over there when he goes. And these think that um, at a certain point in the night, I forgot the time specifically, everyone has dogs in Mexico. Todos los perros andan ladrando like if something's walking. You know, like, you know, how have you, well, you guys have been? You know how when a herd of cows passes by, yeah. all the dogs start barking like crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well, the same thing happens, pero no one's like, dicen que si te asomas, no hay nada. Pero like all the dogs, like slowly going up the street, start barking like if there's like something walking by. Oh, Damn, yeah. that's great. La Llorona, maybe. I, know, I told that to my friend. She was like, oh my God. And I was like, I was like, if you hear our dog's name, Bruno, I was like, if you hear Bruno bark, I was like, ignore his ass. I was like, <laughs> we're not, white people think this is wanting to investigate. When, when, when I hear the dog bark outside and I'm like, I'm not going to go to the window. I'm going to like put up, put a show on, turn it up all the way up. <laughs> yeah, dormir con la luz prendida. Like, Dad, we had a, we had a dog in, uh, in our, like way back in the day. His name was Denver. Every, every time, like around three or four, he'll just start barking at the corner like crazy. And he was, and he was a dog not to known to be barking. Like, he doesn't bark. He mm-hmm. wasn't a barking dog. And he was very friendly. Like, like it was rare that you hear him bark. Mm-hmm. And, and it was like, always like an aggressive. Like, the, even like raccoons will come and take his food. He'll just like watch him. Like, he'll let him. I feel like that's what makes it scary. Porque yo también tengo una perrita. No ladra. She's not mean. So anytime that I'm like home alone with her and I hear her go like, I'm like, Safaira, I'm like, Safaira, please. <laughs> and then I put her on my bed with me. I'm like, no, girl, like, you can't be doing relax, that right now. Relax, relax. Yeah. That's what happens to the angel's dog, too. Yeah, my dog, like, I have a wiener dog. And, like, any little noise, like, she's, like, aware and starts growling and barking. And she does it sometimes in the middle of the night. I'm like, okay, what the fuck are you seeing right now? Like, I'm tripping. And it's like, my dog is being miedosa. Like, if she hears a loud noise, she gets scared. So that's why, like, if I hear a noise, she'll, if she gets scared, I'm like, oh, like, it's normal. But sometimes if she, hear, if she hears a noise and she growls, I'm like... Well, Why isn't she scared? Yeah. Like, like, this isn't normal. What about here? You, have you seen anything scary at your house here in the uh, U.S.? Pues, at my ex's house, it was um, haunted. Oh, and, oh um, shoot. Was, oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Él se iba a trabajar como a las tres y algo de la mañana. And I, 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 
me sleeping, right? <laughs> props, props, so, bro. Um, 3 a.m. is crazy. Se iba, and then me acuerdo que, like, I felt when he left, and he has a big bed, you know? So I was laying there, like, in the middle. And tiene un gato, y también I, my little dog was there. And de la nada, como que siento, like, you know when an animal hops on your bed? Mm -hmm. Like, you feel the pressure? So I was, like, sleeping, and I sleep face down, con la cabeza, like, a little bit to the side. Y sentí, like, a pressure, like, towards my feet, and I was like, oh, his cat Vinny jumped on the bed. And then I feel another one like on the like closer to my knee, like right here. And I was like, mm. and in my head, I started my eyes closed, but I was like, this isn't Vinny. <laughs> y de la nada, I kid you not, I start feeling like if someone was like jumping like back and forth from side to side. And I forgot like specifically what it was, but I, I opened my eyes and I couldn't move. And it's, it was like sleep paralysis, verdad? And I kept on, I kept on hearing, oh, like, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. When I told you, I'm getting like goosebumps thinking about it. Damn. Tanto miedo y tanto terror. Because I was like, and it was like going on. Like, I was like, I feel like, I, you know, like when you can see, like, I could almost see like the little indentations like in the thingy. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God. And it was going on for a while. And it kept on hearing that like laughing voice in like my ear. And I was like, but I watch ghost shows. So I was like, calmate, calmate, calmate. <laughs> feeding off your scare. So I was like, ponte no how, ponte no how. So I started thinking, I was like, ooh, fucking ghost like this and that. <laughs> And then um, finally I was able to move and I me paré and I was like, like did that just happen? So then I texted my boyfriend, I was like, oh my God, I'm scared. Like I just woke up and like, like I think that there was a ghost or something like that. And then um, Safaira, which, which is my dog, she was also like kind of like, like making little noise. And I was yeah. like, like me dio tanto miedo. I feel like that was probably the worst thing that's happened to me. Cause I was like Gosh. so terrified. Cause I was like, it was the fear of knowing that like, Oh, this isn't like yeah. This isn't, this isn't an animal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was it haunted by? Like a like a family member or just? Something, oh, I don't know. know. Because one time, también estamos en su cuarto, and he had his closet um, door open. Y arriba, it's flat, like you know, like shelves. Yeah. He had a uh, like a present or something, and it was a box, and we were just like laying down, like doing something. Y de la nada, the Threw flat it. blocks, the flat box laying on a flat surface, fell off, and oh. I was like. I would have been fucking shittings like, myself. He was like, oh my God. And then he went back to sleep and I was like, I was so scared. I was like, I can't go back to sleep. I was like, I actually am like too scared. And then eventually I did go back to sleep, but I was like, oh my God. I was like, like, this is scary. Uh, that, that, I would have laughed. That happened dude, to you crazy, too, remember? Dude, what? When uh, you went to grandma's house and then you told me, are you going to go? I said no. And I ended up going. And I, when I was getting there, he left already. So he got home thinking I was already home. And he was like, are you not home? I was like, no. So he was home by himself alone. And he said that, like, one of my signs that I have on my oh, on my room, yeah, like, it, it never falls. It's always, like, stuck on the wall. Like, all of a sudden, it just fell, and it made a loud noise, and it scared uh -uh. the shit out of me. It was, like, one of these posters. That's, it was literally, like, a, yeah? it was yeah. a hung poster. And it's poster. always so terrifying when you realize it afterwards, because it's like, what was I with? Porque antes lo que me sucedía mucho también um, es que I would hear my name being called. Oh. Mm -hmm. That happens like, a lot to uh -huh. the people. Yeah. All right, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> but like my family, they call me Chuche. Only my family calls me Chuche. Uh -huh. Everyone else, I feel like other Jesus, they call him like Chuy and stuff. But like I would specifically hear my name being called like Chuche in my mom's voice or my sister's. Ooh. So I remember a couple of times it was like me and my mom home alone. And then I would hear Chuche and I'd be like, que? Because I'm al creado. I say que? Um, <laughs> she'd be like, um, Chuche. And I'd be like, and I'd, I'd stand up and I'd be like, que quieres, mami? And then she'd be like, ¿Tú no te estaba llamando? And I was like, Mommy, Whoa. I was like, me estabas hablando ahorita, and she was like, no, and I'm like, okay, and then um, that's that yeah. gave, that gave me goosebumps. That's, that's crazy. crazy. Then, the most recent time que ha pasado, it was like two years ago. I was at the dorms because I used to dorm at um, CSUF, uh -huh. and um, I was in my room, and my I'm really close with my roommate um, Jimena and my other roommate Bianca, but Bianca wasn't there. Jimena was, I think, and um, no, she wasn't there either. So it was just you. I, I think it was just me, yeah. And I was in my room and I hear Chuche but in Jimena's voice. And I was about to leave my room and go. And then I was like, Jimena doesn't even like call, <laughs> call me Chuche ever, like yeah. not even as a joke. And I was like, Excuse I'm not, I'm not gonna go out. So then I stayed in my room and then after a little bit, I came out and then Jimena was in her room and I was like, Jimena, did you call me? And she was like, No. And I was like, I'm be, I'm, and I was like, be so serious. I was like, Did you call me Chuche? And she was like. Girl, I would never call you that. That's weird. And I was like, <laughs> I'm not joking. I heard you call me Chucha. She was like, they're trying to get your ass. I was like, they almost got me because I was like, <laughs> they so almost got me. Like, I almost walked out. Like, I was so close to like leaving. And then I was like, why did Jimena just call me Chucha? She calls me Jesus. Like, 
that doesn't make any type of sense. Yeah, I feel that's like a different type of paranormal. I've never ever. Yeah, heard that. I think this is the I've last never time. Heard that. I don't even want to talk about it. Yeah. No, I don't want to bring it I've up. I've never that's heard crazy. of like your name being called by something. That's fucking insane. And then another obvious. I don't mean to interrupt. I'm There's very. There's too much paranormal thing that happened in your life. Keep going. I like it. Well, like I said, I used to go to um, frats at UCLA. But uh-huh. so um, I would come back home like at like one in the morning too, and I would have to park at the very furthest parking lot um, at like campus. So I had to walk past an arboretum, which is like, oh, like a big garden. <clears throat> so I was walking and like I was cold and I was filming a TikTok at that time. And I was like, oh, my God, like I'm scared. Like no me van a comer los coyotes because there's coyotes. And like mm-hmm. sometimes they charge at people. And I was walking. And as soon as I finished recording, I heard, hello. But when, <laughs> let me remind you, the arboretum, it's closed. And people don't go in there because there's coyotes, right? Homeless people don't go in there. Mm-hmm. It's like closed off. And I was I, like, I was like right next to the fence and it's pitch black. Like it's all like plants and stuff. So I heard, hello. When I tell you, I looked, there was nothing. I just saw bushes and stuff, and I was like, Damn, that's scary. Imagine you just I like. I really looked, and then I took off. I When I say I booked it, because I remember when I was parking, I saw someone walking way ahead, and I was like, I'm catching up to him. And it actually felt like, like you know those dreams where you're running fast? Yeah. Like I was like running so fast. Like I don't, I was probably doing like maybe like a six minute mile, <laughs> like maybe even less. I was like booking it. And then when I got to my dorm, I, I told my roommates, I was like, I was like, there's, I, this just happened. I was so scared. And I even, um, to, I slept with my roommate. I was like, can you sleep in my bed with me? I'm actually so terrified. Wow. And then she was like, I'm scared. What if it comes back for you and I'm with you? And I was like, <laughs> girl, don't say that. I was like, just stay with me. And then she ended up staying with me. But I was like, so terrified. After that, I um, would risk getting a ticket and parking in a closer parking lot. Because I was like, I'm not uh, walking past yeah. our bread. I'm at, at the night anymore. Mm-mm. Yeah. Well, you avoided it at all costs? At, at night, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I was, that, I was scared and they were like, what if it was a homeless person? I was like, no, no homeless person would go in there with coyotes because the coyotes do chase students. Sometimes so I was like, they wouldn't risk it. I was like, I yeah. wouldn't risk it. But That's who crazy. the fuck would be calling you? Who would say hello to you? I don't know. Like, why would they even say hello? Like in, a, in the middle of the so night, night to yeah. a random person. It's late. Yeah. It's like, what, like, what do you want? Like, what's it's just saying and hello. I like, <laughs> and I feel like if it was like someone, they would have laughed if they saw me taking off because I was actually yeah. wearing like a putty outfit. Like I had like a crop <laughs> top, like, like, uh, like some jeans and then like some like, I don't know, like some like makeup on, like makeup did like, and they just see me take off. I feel like people would have laughed if it was a prank. Or recorded it or uh-huh. something. Did not hear a single thing. So I was like, uh, I, you know what I would have done if I would have like I would have been, been in your situation if I would have heard that hello I would have already been gone I would have <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to try to look what you, what looking looking yeah. I'm dipping. you know for me I, my thing was I'm like oh someone's talking to me so I was like I'm like who's talking to me and then when I when I, I literally looked and I have good vision like I can spot a bitch out quick so I was like <laughs> I literally looked and I was like and then I just took off. I was like actually so terrified. Yeah, that, remind, that reminded me of when we, we did a scary shit with uh, little Antonio. We went to, uh, it was in Fontana. Remember when I said that I heard somebody say help? Hola, Melinda? Yeah, that's me. That's Remember me when I said, it. really? Oh, okay. Remember when I said uh, that there was somebody that said help? It sounded like a little girl said help on top of us, like over a tree. And we're oh, done. That's yeah. That's actually so terrifying. Yeah, it, was it, in, it was in Fontana. Yeah, it was in Fontana, It was in a right? podcast episode. Oh, yeah. And we saw something in the book. Yeah. And then I was like, bro, I see someone down there. And they're yeah, like. Yeah. You know what the stuff we do, right? We oh, do yeah. scary shit. Yeah. Yeah. But I could not. I'm actually. I'd be too scared something would come home with me. That, yeah, I, we that do that night, too. That yeah, we night I was really scared because I really thought something was going to come home uh-huh. because we looked into the distance and you can see like two glowing eyes looking from like That's looking at us from terrifying. a distance. And our friend, he lives around the area. He said, yeah, there's like people who sometimes like stay here or like sleep around here or like some crazy shit. So that night I really felt scared because we all yeah. saw some shit. I was I was I tripped out because I feel like I was the only one that heard help. Was yeah, and then I didn't I, hear that. And then we kept on hearing someone like in the like the tree. Cause remember we, we were hearing someone in the tree. Yeah, so I was like, bro, that's actually so See? too much things happening. I right think now. I could not like when I say I thrift, I thrift clothes, but I would never buy like something from the outside. I'd be too terrified that it's gonna yeah. Like, yeah home with something. Cause I'm like, I feel like I'd rather deal with like a serial killer <laughs> than a ghost. Cause I'm like, a serial killer can get like stopped. Like I can lock myself in a room, call the police, and try to survive. A ghost. Yeah, you oh can't open it. You can stomp out a serial killer, but you can't stomp yeah, out a ghost. What I can grab my sage and like start cursing, but <laughs> yeah. I'm like, 
you know like that's actually so scary yeah my dad always told me like if you ever find a ring don't ever put it on you know don't ever put on a ring or a necklace always leave it that you that you find or like you buy. oh yeah ooh, i put on a ring yesterday at the thrift store <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, fucked up. Fucked. Fucked. you know you know that feeling when you turn off the lights and you're running away mm-hmm. and that feeling like something's so behind, behind you? you yeah that's probably the feeling you got when you're no, running yeah. huh? well you're so much like I, w- I wouldn't say that like i'm like spirit like i can sense things but i feel like cuando me da miedo me da like i feel like for the most part i can be like calm but like when i went to puerto rico we went to this place get like um supposedly was like oh like like a bunch of people died there i didn't go, i didn't step foot i didn't step foot oh. over there i know they were like why not and i was like i actually have a bad feeling i was like i don't want to go i was like i'd rather that's not. good trust your feelings mm-hmm. always yeah that's good my boy my friends went and then obviously like maybe this was just car- like not karma but like bad timing or something her phone stopped working when she was over there. Whoa. Like, it just like completely like stopped working. She had to get a new phone. Like it was a whole ordeal. But I was like, no, like I'm very much like certain things. Like I would not like the Ouija board. Mm-mm. Dude, that's one thing we do not. We do not. I people always want us to do it. We're like, fuck you. No. If I went, if I went to a house party in the very outside of like wherever, and there was like no one for 13 miles. And they pull out a Ouija board. I'm walking home. I'd rather yeah. deal with like a mountain lion, a coyote, or something. I'm not dealing with dude. Like, not doing none that. We did a we did a scary shit episode with Sal. You know Sal, mm-hmm. and um, we were gonna go out. We where we went to? We went to Vermont. It was somewhere oh. far as fuck. Like going towards Vegas. It was like in the middle of nowhere. And then we were gonna do like an episode there. And Sal was like, "I'm gonna bring in a Ouija board." And we we straight up told Sal like, "Bro, if you bring that shit, I'm never talking to you ever again. <laughs> like, like, please, no, you. I'm not going." I was like, "We're not gonna do the video I'm no like, more." I'll do a lot of things. That's not one of them. Yeah, dude, we would not do that. Like messing with like, what's that shit called? That those ladies that do like the fortune teller. What are they, what are they called? A fortune medium, medium, Medium? something like that. We would not want to mess with them either. People that could. I know you done it on the I Investies. You know how you pull oh, out the, the cards. The three cards. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, well, like, that's scary. No, but sometimes like I would just do it. I just do it like lo que se me viene la cabeza. When I say I made a girl cry before once because I like did that. Because I, 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 I randomly, like I said, no más, like, yo lo hago de pendejo, like, oh, like, esto que el otro. And I told, and randomly, I don't know why, se me metió, like, oh, like, are you okay? Like, I feel like you're sad. And I was like, I feel like you've been holding on to something. And then I started saying things. She started crying at the end of it. And I was like, I'm so sorry. She was like, I, I need to hear that. And I was like, <laughs> I and I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, I'm scared. Like, why I mean, am I, why I didn't am I mean kind of, I know, I was like, why am I kind of right? Like, why did I read her? Maybe it was just dumb luck, but I was like, actually, like, a little bit scared afterwards. I was like, was the last I have power and I don't that know. That was the last time you put the cards <laughs> out. I've never, I've, 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 I sense things too. I, they always don't want to bring it up, but like when they, when I want to bring it up, it's fine. But like I hate bringing it up because I feel like people think that I'm crazy. But like I see things and I sense things sometimes. And I, I think I got it from my mom because she also saw, like sees mm-hmm. things. Like for me, um, I feel too like sometimes some like rooms and stuff, I just don't like them. Mm-hmm. Like I like know like my roommates, um, one of them is leaving. And then she was like, oh, do you want to move into my room? You and the other roommate. And then my sister and her and the other roommate can move in the other one. I was like, I don't want to go into your room. I was like, I don't care that you guys like this and that. I was like, I don't like that room. I was like, something about it no me gusta. And I stick with it. Like when my family was going to move to houses, I would go to, to the house. And I'm like, I mean, no me gusta esta casa. And obviously I didn't have that much jurisdiction on like what we were going to do. But I'd be like, no me se siente bien esta casa. I was like, no me gusta. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. like I'm like miedoso in that sense where I'm like, if I don't like it, I don't like it. Like, if there's a reason for it. Yeah, I think for me, it's not, like, more like I feel things. It's more like I see things. Like, mm. a lot of times when I when I know, like, a room is bad is when I see something going on. Like, like I, I could probably just be chilling, like, not doing anything or, like, just being on my phone and distracted. I feel like that's when it recurs most of the time when you're distracted and you're not focusing on it. Because when I focus on, like, trying to find something, I don't find it. But when I'm not trying to find something, I always see, like, dark figures popping up or some, somebody trying to wave at me or something, like in the corner of my eyes and it feels so real like you know like you always have like that little speck in your eye mm-hmm. like and then you're like okay that's just a little speck but like when you and know it is like it it's makes real. sometimes it's like oh like am i crazy but then it's like well i've been a little bit right like in my roommate's um room um after like after i said that luckily ya nada pasó. she started getting like sleep paralysis oh I remember I, I would, i'm like I, I i remember i was like i told you guys i was like something in that room no me gusta esto que el otro pero yeah i feel like i see like shadows every now and then but I usually try to convince myself that I'm like, oh, I'm crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy. I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm like, me too. I'm, 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 I'm like, mm, I'm not seeing that. Either. You're like, I'm not like I need to go to a mental like, hospital. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just like look away. I'm like, oh. You know, I feel like I feel like um when I see those things, I feel like I felt like I make them so mad because I'm like, all right, bro, chill out. Like I I, I act like um I make them look like a fool. 
Mm-hmm. Cause like they be trying to like I feel like they be trying to scare me or make me like think of something like they can drop like a like a post in front of me I'd be like okay let me fix it. And I, and I, I fix also it. feel like if anything like also like spirits or stuff they try to like sometimes like with certain people over that because when I used to live with my family I feel like I would experience like I said my name being called and stuff like that no one else like les pasaba eso pero once I moved and once my, my one year my brother didn't go to Mexico entonces se quedó ahí solo that's when like he started experiencing things like silly, like things would turn on by themselves and like one time we had an alexa and yeah like it can turn on by itself but he was in the room not not saying anything la chona started playing i was like oh the ghost wanted you to dance period <laughs> but then um then my mom was like okay pues agarra alguien que like vaya que haga bendizca la casa verdad and then i was like oh pero when cuando le pasa a lupe everyone believes him but i was like and i said it like no way, but no, way. No, way. No, way. <laughs> fuck me right <laughs> fuck me then like, that happens um, to me I feel like lo que me daba más miedo a veces when my mom would get scared. Because mm. I feel like mi mami is muy like a non-believer of anything. Mm. So I feel like um, the few times que nos pasaban cosas a los dos and I would see her get a little bit nervous, I'd be like, why Ooh. is this making me more nervous? Like, why are you getting nervous? You know, like one time estamos adentro y salimos. Que iba a tener la ropa and I was like, oh, yo te ayudo. Y entra- and we had left all the lights on, like everything. And we came back in. All the lights were off. Like the th- switches were down. And I was like, she was like, amor se fue la luz. And I was like, la cosa se había quedado... And I was like, el microondas está conectado en donde está like, el enchufe de la luz. I was like, si se había ido la luz, it would have reset and we would have to reset mm-hmm. the clock. And I was like, eso está raro. And she's like, ay, no es nada, chuche, no te apures. And then, <laughs> and so like, salió regañando, pero, like, little things like that freak me out. Yeah. I think probably the funniest thing, though, que me ha pasado, it was like, um, with a ghost, I was, I folded my michonis and I stacked them up on top of my clothes. <laughs> and I was, you know how after you fold sometimes to that hueva? So I was like, I'm going to walk a ratito. And I was just laying there on my phone. I kid you not randomly, my calzón flew across the room. <laughs> I'm not yeah. joking. It like oh, flew freaky. across. And I stood, I stood up and I was like, and I, kn- I know that I didn't kick or anything. I was like, and then I called, I think I called my friend Rosa afterwards. I was like, Rosa, why is the ghost like sending me signals? <laughs> like, no era miedo que me dio, because I was like, why am I calzón out of everything? <laughs> but yeah, I, <laughs> I was like, oh my God. I was like, why does he want me bad? Is this a sign? <laughs> like, do you want to fuck me or what? Actually, ghost, do you want to fuck me? That's, That's funny. funny, bro. Oh, I love that. Yeah, we we love we all love listening to scary stories because like it gives you that shit. one feeling. You're just mm-hmm. like, oh, what the fuck? I feel like you get to like, I feel like you get to communicate with each other when you talk about ghost stuff. It's like so something that you don't. That's them. I don't like that. Yeah, that's them. I don't bitch. like that shit. I'm being a little bit. That's yeah. my dad. It like he he has some stories, but he doesn't like talk about them. Yeah. Anything has to do with ghost death? No, like yeah. he doesn't fuck with. That's the no, I love that shit. We we oh, like gosh. ghost stories, but when it comes to like demon possessions we're like okay chill like we don't like to listen to that because that's actually pretty scary i feel like i like that i, li- I like to scary with him though i like to listen but then i'm like oh, that's fucking scary, <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking scary. <laughs> Me later at night because i before i go to sleep i always think of everything i did during the day so i'm like i'm fine like that's scary and then at night, i'm like oh mm, shit i remember yeah. <laughs> what if i like i thought about it and now he's here <laughs> <laughs> i fucking hate that i hate going to sleep and like or like I'm on TikTok and like I'm like okay then it's time to go to sleep but let me scroll a little more down and it's like a fucking scary video I'm like oh my god <laughs> right now bro yeah. really it, and like little little images start popping up like okay I can't sleep I can't and, sleep and you know that theory too if you eat spicy shit before you go to bed you get a nightmare that shit's true like I ate, I ate hot really? wings I ate hot I no I ate hot wings one before and I had a fucking nightmare that shit scared the shit out of me I woke up sweating I was like fuck <laughs> I'm never eating shit like that's that. on you bro like, I get freaked out when I'm at and I randomly wake up in the night, not tired anymore, and I can't go back to sleep. I'm like, why can't Whoa, I go back to sleep? Because yeah. you know that they yeah. say usually if someone's looking at you, you can't go to sleep. Really? So I'm like, yeah, so like a spirit or something. So I'm like, this is scary. That happens to me at 3 a.m. But I'll be waking up and be like, it's 3 a.m. And I'm like, why can't I go back to sleep? And I'd be going to use the restroom and I go fuck around and do some shit. And I go back That's to scary. bed. That's scary. I didn't yeah, know that. I heard you got to pray when you wake up in the middle of the night. Do you? For real, that's what I heard because the spirits be trying to like wake you up and isn't there like with you. isn't there a saying? I, I don't know how if it's I don't know how the saying goes, but it's like if like you're awake, that means somebody's thinking about you or something like that. I don't know. Like if you're dreaming oh, then no about one's a thinking person? about me. I'm like rarely. <laughs> I sleep good. I'm just I like good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it was like uh, if you're, if you're dreaming about somebody, that means they're thinking about you or still awake. No, I think it's when you dream of somebody, it's because they're thinking about you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've heard that one. I heard that one. When you like, dream of a certain one. person, it's because they're thinking I've about you. I've never heard too. of any of these. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, I'm I, learning. I used to have dreams like that of like special people, and I wake up, I'm like, they're thinking about me. And then oh my like, God. I tell them, and then like, 
I don't fuck. I don't fuck about you. I'm like, oh, okay, for sure. Obama thinking about me. <laughs> Real, I'm like, oh, all these celebrities are thinking about me. Like, Bad Bunny, get out of here. Bad Bunny, oh my God, you're thinking about me. Thank you. Yeah. But uh, one thing I wanted to ask is, I know you're going through a breakup and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. how are you holding up with that? I feel like I'm good. Like, Sorry, crying. I'm good. Good. Like, I'm good. I start crying. I'm good. <laughs> it's like can we pause real quick <laughs> um i feel like it's a lot of highs and lows mm-hmm. you know like i feel like we ended on pretty good terms like we're friends um i know people are like oh you can't be friends with your ex i do like i'm gonna say right now like i still have love for him i don't think that love can like disappear that easily and i do want to see him do good mm-hmm. no más que a veces como que me da like corajito yeah <laughs> you know but yeah, then it goes yeah. back to like oh like you know like he's still a good person i think for him he was a good guy, just not a good boyfriend to me. And I think maybe I wasn't the best boyfriend to him either, just yeah. because of issues that would happen and like distance and stuff. But it's always like that. You, I am like a very big like love person. Like I love the idea of love. Like romance movies are my favorite type of movie. So I feel like also, I don't know, like I feel like me dolio mask because I've never had like a heartbreak. Mm-hmm. So I thought I was going to get my forever, happily ever after, even though it was going to be like, even though it's unrealistic, my very first like serious relationship. And obviously, like, odds of that happening are, like, always low. Yeah. So I was just like, oh, like, cuando te ilusionas and you're like, oh, he's going to be the one. And then, like, he's not. Like, I just felt dumb, you know, for mm. thinking that. Yeah. I've seen your videos. You're like, damn, I should have cheated. But I was like, oh, no, no, I don't want no, to. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I'm going to be honest. Like, I have had had that thought. I wouldn't have because, like like I said, I loved him too much to, like, have cheated. But sometimes, like, what I am like, oh, I should have cheated. Like, either way, he, like, he broke up with me. Might as well. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, might I, as well. Because then I'm like, if I would have gotten... If I would have cheated and broken up with him, I'm like, okay, I deserved it. Like, you know, like, yeah. time to move on. But since, like, things were pretty good and it was more of, like, a sudden thing when I didn't really, like, want it to happen, I, I felt like I was more, like, I feel like I did mostly everything right. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. and this still ended up being like this. So I was like, I should have cheated. Like, I would have, like, that way I would have processed things <laughs> not as hard. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm glad I didn't. Obviously, I would never have, but still. Yeah. yeah. What's some advice you would give to the viewers who are going through a breakup, too? Well, I'm not the best at that. <laughs> because, um, okay, this is like going to be like maybe like not my problematic side, but my thing. I am on dating apps again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, the th- and the, but the thing is, I'm very clear about that. I, one thing about me, I don't, I'm a very good communicator. I don't lead on people, but I feel like since we're friends, I know some people are like, oh, go no contact. We still text a little bit, but not a lot. And we text as friends. Like we send like iMessage games and like, oh, like, how are you feeling? Are you doing okay? Are you, how are you holding up? Like stuff like that. Um, but since we don't have that separation, I feel like siempre te quedas con la, la, las ganas de like, oh, texting him like my boyfriend. Mm-hmm. So the way I deal with that is by texting other guys. Mm. So then it's like, but they they know clearly like that I'm fresh out of a relationship that I'm just like looking for fun yeah. and a distraction. So that's how like every time que me dan ganas, I said text him, I'm like, oh, let me see like what Julano's doing. Like, you know, yeah. like, like, let me go do this. Or let me answer this guy's message like that, you know? Uh-huh. What I, if- I know some people are like, oh, like, that's not the way to process it. Everyone processes things differently. That's, <laughs> That's my way. What if they're like way. watching it? Like the what? people that you mess with. They're like, oh. No, oh they can know. He only <laughs> uses me whenever. No, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like it's like, that's how I process And the thing is like, I even have a grinder account. I don't know if you guys know what grinder is. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? It's like a gay hookup app. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, okay. Strictly for that. I treat like my Instagram. Like, <laughs> I have like my like Instagram photos. I have my name. And then I have like, uh, usually people on their bio, they're, they're like, oh, down low curious like kinky like like car play stuff like that like sexual stuff mine is like diy art um <laughs> it's like dog person like this and that and then for my bio i'm like i love attention just because mm. that's like attention from other guys i feel like is the way even though it's not like you shouldn't validate mm-hmm. yourself i feel like the breakup did leave me want, like feeling like See. oh like if i get so much why wasn't i wanted uh-huh. so i feel like even if it's not, I'm not wanted the way I want when other guys give me validation. I'm like, okay, like I'm still like wanted. Like it's like, it reassures me in my head, yeah. you know? Yeah. Psych- psychologists don't come at me. <laughs> don't start diagnosing me because I'm not going to listen. They're going to they're gonna make a video on you. They're going to be like, let's break her down. Let's they're going to be like, no <laughs> class, we're going to watch this video of this guy. Dude. Dude. And it's like <laughs> crazy because it has worked like in serio, like at least for me, like I still cry about it. Like it's still otro, but it, it has, I have cried about it less because I'm like, oh, like, other guys do want me like it's like it's not an issue with me it was just like we weren't meant for each other yeah you know i, I remember one time i downloaded a a dating app in high school because my friend was on a dating app too and high school. yeah and then because he was saying he was getting a lot of girls i was like i want girls too <laughs> so i downloaded an app i got nobody i was so insecure i was like fuck i'm ugly like i don't want this shit no more and i deleted it you don't get scared of like being on these dating apps no because i just like 
I am notorious for like, I just flirt online. Like yeah. I just like flirting. So you don't meet up? No. Oh, okay. That Mm-mm. makes sense. Yeah. No, yeah. Like if anything, I've only met up with one person from there. And that's like when I lo- lost my virginity. Just because I also like, I like, n- not that I know myself, but I'm like, I wanted to lose it to someone I didn't have feelings for. Because I was like, if I lose it to someone I have feelings for, I don't want to be like people when they're like, they go stupid over someone and they're like, like I can, yeah, like I can't leave them because he was my first. So I was like, I'm going to lose it to someone. And two of my friends, have, one of my, well, my cousin has done this and one of my friends have done this and they agree that it was the best thing they ever did. Obviously I have to each their own, but they were like, they, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you lose it with no like strings attached. It's just like, oh, it's a one-time thing. Like, let's make this clear. Like, it's no más es para perder, perderlo. So then when you do do it with someone, it's like, it's not like you weren't my first, like, you know, because I feel like if you're already so emotionally attached, physically is even more. So then at least like I like you can't say like, oh, well, at least they took my virginity. They were my first. Like, I can't believe I gave that to him. No one like no one that I cared about took my virginity. So I mean, like, I don't care. About that's that's a good way to think. That's uh-huh. a good way. I know people are going to be like, oh, but it's like this. <coughs> not, I need more pickings la cola. Pero ya. Cada quien. Yeah, that's how like that's how I like do things. I just yeah. I feel like sometimes maybe it's just my autism, like the way I process things. <laughs> Pero, um, I'm saving myself. Oh, really? I'm saving myself for marriage. Oh, period. Yeah. I'm like, props to you. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, no props podia, to you. I'm 20. <laughs> Yo no podía aguantar. Um, <laughs> but for me, that's what I did. How, how old are you, if I may ask? Yes. Are you in your 20s? Yes. I'm going to say 25. Oh, thank you. That's right. Are I try, you older? I, try, I, try. I don't like oh, guessing. Oh, no, she's 2018. 2018, so you... I'm 23. Oh. See? Mm-hmm. So you're older than George. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense, because you're 2019, right, George? I'm 2019. Class of 2019. Yeah, yeah. 20, see, that makes yeah. sense. Now. So you're turning 24 this year? Yes, in May. I was born Cinco de Mayo. Oh, my birthday's Six. May 6th. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I knew a girl, her birthday was uh May 4th. Yeah. So it was like, they celebrated her birthday, and then like two days later, it was my birthday. So we had like, and she was always in my class, because I was in the dumb class, she was too. So like, we always <laughs> yeah. had the, we always had like parties like back to back. Yeah. yeah, we're twins. So like, her birthday was on a Wednesday, my birthday was on a Friday, and like, we got a party all week, like, it was cool. Oh, I, I hated my birthday. I fucking hate my birthday. Really? I love it. I love my birthday, but there's, I share, I share a birthday with the next. I'm like, oh, really? Oh, girl, I used to talk to and uh, this girl, I, if you're seeing this, pica de la cola. <laughs> <laughs> this girl, she she um, ah, fuck it, like, that's fuck you, it. my boy. Okay, but they go to my church. They go to my church, mm-hmm. and I would go to church with them too. And a lot of times, they would celebrate her birthday and not mine. They always forget my birthday. Mm. Like, so I'll be like, man, it sucks. And it was like during those days, during my birthday, we would go to like um an event called a uh, this convention where we, we would go to a convention center. We would go um like do like a youth thing. And uh, they will always like bring a birthday cake for her, and then sometimes uh, uh, our pastor, our youth pastor, was also like around the November area, area of mine, and then they'll bring in their birthday cake, and I'm like, okay, so, so they're you celebrating. Felt, like, forgotten, like not. Yeah, yet. everyone got a birthday cake but me, and I was like, okay, that's one boy just waiting for his birthday. Yeah, cake. I was so mad because everybody was like, let's sing happy birthday, yay! And I was like, it's my brother's birthday too. <laughs> And oh my just, god <laughs> they sing him too and effort is just like nah don't sing to me Fuck i hate y'all. it i hate it i hate it being such a pity party i hate mm-hmm. being like charity like I, I like if you guys don't want to celebrate it's fine like if you guys forgot about it it's okay but don't like bring it up after mm-hmm. the fact that you guys I, are doing it but don't let her affect your birthday no nah, like, i'm like period i'm like i'm like she already took your time <laughs> i'm like at least that's she how took I, your day of birth <laughs> yeah that's how i try to think about it because like i've done things like now that i used to do with my boyfriend he made that three steps on when i do them but i'm like like I can't like I don't want it like to I don't want it to ruin like this that I do enjoy so I'm like I'm just gonna keep on doing it until it like no se siente yeah. like you, b- bad thing you know. Are you guys scared of like being in a relationship at a young age and then like maybe it won't work out in the future? I feel like that's something that like I I constantly come back on and like man like what if like I'm wasting my 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 early years on somebody that I like and then maybe like when I'm like in my thirties or like older and we don't like doesn't work out and I'm like fuck I feel like I wasted those. Like I feel like, like yeah. yeah I, I feel, feel like, like I wasted on just this one person. I feel like that's like a logical like fear. <clears throat> I like to think that todo pasa por razón. Like even though like like I said like still a little bit heartbroken over like um, my ex, but I feel like todo pasa por razón. Like you know I I, I I I like seeing like sad quotes. Like one thing about me, yo soy chion, and I will like go purposely make myself cry. <laughs> I like feeling what I feel, you know. Yeah. I feel like that's the only way I can process it. That's and I saw a thing. Yeah, I do like, that too. Oh, Healthy. like maybe you were meant to like show this person unconditional love. And maybe this person was meant to show you like, oh, like self-love, you know, or like what you wanted in the future relationship and what they like, 
Like sometimes I feel like you have to experience what you don't want so you know what you do. You learn from your a past mm-hmm. relationship. So I, I feel I, like also having like good communication, like me and my boyfriend, we ended things abruptly, but I always told him, I was like, if you ever stop feeling something for me, I'm like, let me know in that moment and I won't hate you. I'm gonna like be so thankful that you like respected me enough para no tenerme como tu pendejo. And if I if I feel the same way, like something changes, like two years down the line, like six years, look, it's that I'm like I'm gonna be honest with you because I don't want to like this moment I stop feeling something. I want you to know, and that's what he did. And that's why like I didn't end on bad terms. I was like, thank you for at least being honest with me, you know. Mm. So I feel like at least having really good communication, be like, hey, if it doesn't work out, like I need, or if you feel it's not gonna work out, let me know as soon as you can, so I'm not wasting your time and you're not wasting mine. And now you know what you're looking for when you're in the next relationship. Mm -hmm. Now you know what like what's something what's right that you that you experienced in the back in like your last relationship. Now you know like oh this isn't right like mm-hmm. we gotta fix it or like i don't like this like i like this more you yeah know? exactly do you ever plan on getting married at a young age or like later on i probably wouldn't want to get married until like maybe like 30 something yeah me too because mm-hmm. i have some friends who got married like literally at 21 22 i'm insane. like what like mm-hmm. insane. No. that's really young guys and in you their guys- wedding you know how weddings like you save up money to make it a big mm-hmm. beautiful their weddings is like really ghetto yeah you know? i was gonna say i want to have <laughs> two weddings one in Mexico and one here because I have family it's in Mexico. Mm, I want the I bigger can. ones to have in to be in Mexico. Mexico. I want like maybe like legally here uh-huh. and then have a big party, but then like over there just have a big ass party. But I bigger want like party. yeah, like a big like I want it to be like a big banda, like maybe a couple and then I need to be rich or he needs to be rich <laughs> or something. Like we need to win the lottery. I want like the food, I want the food to be like carnitas, like arroz, tortillas, like nopales, like and, and then whatever else he wants. I wanna have like Puestos, like I want to have a nieve man, I want to have a raspado man, I want to have like frituras, I want to have like Damn. all that. I, want, I hope I get invited. I, yeah, I, I want to have like, um, like also like like a station for people to make drinks or like for drinks to be made. But then I also want to have like beers and everything passed out. And then I want the centros de mesa to be made out of clay, like, and I want them to be like jarras or like tortilleras or more or like. Um, Do you already uh, have this plan? No, for, yeah, yeah. Like, um, just wait until you more, like, you know, that's the guacamole, the mortar. Like, and I want to have, like, a bunch of flower decorations there because I want it to be, like, something that, like, people can take. Because I love taking things from parties. So I want it <laughs> yeah. to be nice. And then um, I want, obviously, like, if no one wants to, but I'm like, I'd want it to be, like, oh, and to enter, you need a shot. Mm. Like, you need a shot. Whoa. Like, obviously, like, if you have a health, like, history, like, health problem or something, like, no one's going to make you. But I'm like, I want everyone to be offered a At shot. Least yeah, yeah. And just then, to get a little loosened up. Como a las 12 de la noche, I want it to be like amanecer. I want them to hand out maruchanes to everyone. So then it's like, if they're drunk or something, like pueden comer, se les baja, or like tacos, like either or. Very but thoughtful. I wa- very I want thoughtful. something like that para que like todos digan, ay, because me and my cousin, ay, somos medias criticonitas, no? <laughs> you know? Like, I feel like we've been to so many parties that we're like, fuck, when it's our turn, Ooh, we're gonna do this like, like good. This we're gonna, I like, know how to do it. <laughs> like, yeah. oh, like we're like we're learning from everyone else's mistakes. Porque I'm like, va a ser algo bien bonito. Yeah, when when I get married, I want my wedding to be outside. I want to <laughs> do it during like a beautiful time, like not summer because summer's fucking hot. But I want like a nice day outside with like trees and like mm-hmm. a garden or something. And obviously, like I I don't really go to weddings here. I go to more weddings in Mexico. But um. I want it to be open invite. Like, las personas que quieran ir, like, pueden ir. Because I know some, they have, like, the f- to go to the food, it's, like, private. Like, only the baile is public. I want you to invite your grandma's grandma. Yeah. Like, I want everyone to go. Quiero que sea, like, algo grande. No, pero para asumir, para, para que digan, like, oh, also, it'd be a gay wedding. So, <laughs> like, para que yeah. estén más accepting, you know? But yeah. I, I want them to be, like, hicieron una fiesta muy bien estos, like, muchachos. Like, hicieron esto, like, so nice, you know? I feel like that would be hard over here because, you know, it's it's more about like the venue over mm-hmm. here. I know in Mexico they can have like a fucking big ass field and like oh yeah, yeah. Like, oh well, we're gonna do it in the field. soccer field because I want a big ass fucking escenario. <laughs> like I want something. <laughs> want and I want it. I want it to be tierra because I love bailes when there's tierra. Cuando like obviously like te tapas porque like los mocos se te ponen yeah. like negros y eso. But I'm like I want it because I like when you dance y todo el polvo se levanta. Like, like that. Yeah, like ugh, like that's what I want. I and I oh I forgot something else that I want. This <laughs> might need a lot of money. <laughs> I want to have like an Ivy purse, I, not Ivy, like the people that do like liquid IVs or ambulance there because I'm like, quiero que todos empeden, but I'm like, if someone's dying, I don't want to have to worry about it. Mm. Like the ambulance is already here, you know, like I would pay. Smart. That's why I want money because I'm like, <laughs> I would pay to have that right there. So then it's like, 
toma gusto, like, ahí está la ambulancia. Like, you're pasa? the first one there. You're like, like <laughs> actually, maybe, but that's what I mean, period. That's, that's smart. That's that smart. is smart. I've never thought about that. That's very thoughtful. Okay. You put yeah. a lot of thought into it. I no, like I've been planning this shit. I, like, I would never thought about an I'm a IV there. for sure. <laughs> oh, and then when I dance, no, I, I will I make an announcement. I'm like, si sus chiquillos se pasan a la pista, les voy a dar una patada y no quiero que nadie se enoje. Don't get pissed away. Actually, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> no quiero que nadie se enoje porque les estoy avisando. I will kick them. I feel like I don't want to want a wedding with kids. Really? It's hard though. It's hard like when people have kids, like parents you that have kids. Like, it's hard to baby, like, like it's, have it's babysitters. Hard. Oh no, I'm going to be like, ay, que los niños corran por donde quiera. Si, en la fiesta, but I was like, en el baile, si se pone a la pista, I'm going to twirl my way all the way to them and kick them. Y no se van a enojar a mí. And if you try to get me, security is going to grab you. <laughs> you can have your bag. Yeah, like, I paid for okay. security too. <laughs> you can have like a little summer song. Bro, that's why I'm like, I need a lot of money. They rest a little kid. <laughs> He's like in handcuffs. They're taking him out. He's like five years old. That's funny. Real. Yeah, but how long has it been? What's with the timer right there? It's about an hour and nine minutes, boy. I think that's good enough. I think we had a good conversation. A good conversation. Yeah, yeah. well, thank I you for fun. coming. We really appreciate it. We love talking. You know, we love talking about scary stuff and weddings in Mexico. It's awesome. Thank you for coming. We really appreciate Period. it. Thank you for having me. Now, do you want to say anything to our fans, our your fans? Any any advice? Any motivation? <laughs> anything? It's your um, time. Go ahead. Okay. Promote yourself. Anything. Think about it. Think about mm. it. Think about it. Take your time. Take your time. We need you to pasta, <laughs> everything that looks like it's going horrible in your life in a couple years, it's not going to be that deep. Um, ay, relájate. Like, no te mates. Um, you can't let the... Ay, I don't know what to say. Period. I'm like, just don't kill you. Don't kill yourself. Things get better. And if you're not following me on TikTok, follow me, Jesus Acevedo X. Um, and then on Instagram, Jesus Acevedo. Yes. Yes. Clap it up. Well, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram. And... Please subscribe to our Patreon.